Hello and welcome back. And today I want to talk about how to turn your Acer Store NAS into your perfect photography NAS. It has to be said that of all the different multimedia applications that are available on the Acer Store NAS platform with ADM, photography is probably the most streamlined of all of them. And in future videos, I will be talking about a number of their key audio applications. And I'll also be talking about a lot of their video applications too. But first, I want to talk about photography because a number of you go for a network attached storage device with one of the main ambitions being to step away from the likes of um, Apple Photos, Google Photos, Dropbox and more. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how the NAS handles photography and how to set it up the first time. But before we go any further, we should talk a little about different connections because much like in my other videos that I featured previously, it's worth highlighting that everything I'm showing you today will be using the network, not internet connectivity. The reason being is I don't want anyone to watch these videos and allow internet level access to their NAS until they've set it up perfectly the very first time. In later videos, I will be showing everyone how to connect the Acer Store NAS safely to the internet using the Easy Connect system and making sure your ports are safe. But everything I'm showing you today is predominantly targeted at network connectivity. That means that in order to in watch or enjoy or look at the photos on the NAS, you'll have to be on the same network as the NAS. That is, the NAS will be connected to the same router or switch that your device, your phone, your TV, your fire stick, your tablet, your laptop is connected to as well. So the first thing I want to talk about is media servers now again i will touch on this in the music and the video uh, video as well but the asus store adm platform has a couple of really good dlna media server applications there is the mini dlna application and there is the UPnP Media Server 2. DLNA, or Digital Living Network Alliance, is generally a certification given to client hardware devices like your phone, tablet, etc. that can stream media with simplicity over the network without any high-dense um, file protocol. A universal plug and play is very similar, or UPnP is much the same thing, just using a slightly changed protocol for automated exchanges of protocol. Now, both of those are what we're going to be utilizing here, and it's worth highlighting that you should have the media on your NAS already. So going into File Explorer, you've got you can create your own files and folders if you choose on the NAS but it is recommended to create some default folders on the main NAS dropdown uh, that are shared folders for music, for photos, and for video. We've gone through this earlier, but if you want to create a shared folder, click this folder here, and then create a new shared folder along this list. Click Add and call it whatever you like here, such as Photos. Then give it a name, where it lives on the NAS, and this is stuff we went through in part one of this series, so I recommend you check that out. Click Next. Say that you know the users that you want to access it have access, and boom, we now have a Photos folder in the directory. <clears throat> so now we've got that album created. Either upload photos directly from your PC, like so, so I could grab an album if I cho choose and just drag and drop it directly into the window and it will upload those files that way, like so. And I'm not gonna upload them, but you can upload them into that or find them via a connected USB device on the NAS, like so. Find them, right click, copy the photos or more often get the directory themselves. Right click, go to copy, head back into that album you created, in my case photos, right click and click paste. And it will paste those albums into that folder. Now I'm gonna cancel that there because I've already moved photos into another album here under media, something I'm gonna show you later on. But the reason you're adding photos into preset folders for the sake of UPnP and DLNA is they are more simplistic in their architecture. This will allow you via the mini DLNA service here, for example, 
to uh, connect your media server to a specific network Ethernet port on the NAS. If you have multiple, it allows you to attach a single network port that you can dedicate to the media server, leaving other network ports for backups and other services. And then at the bottom, click Add. Then click Browse and find the album that you want to stream over the LNA, such as Photos that we created earlier, or the one that I've already created, which is Media. And then click OK. Click OK again. And it can't apply those settings right now because I've already added the folder, as you can see there. But you won't get that error message. When you're ready, click Apply. And there you go, it's done. If anything changes, you can always rescan, and then it will rescan the, the network setup in order to see if anything has changed. If we flick over to the UPnP application that we see here, the options are similar, but there's a few extra ones. Firstly, we give the server a name. We can rename it to be different from the NAS itself to have its own name. And then we can go ahead and add those media pathways, just as we mentioned earlier on, to add different sources for media. But we've also got the option to go into the Advanced tab. <clears throat> In the Advanced tab, you can change the interface which is supported as well as if you have specific media streamers connected to your device. These media streamers are the ones that will be utilizing the UPnP services if you choose. You can also choose whether you want to transcode, <clears throat> that is to say, edit the size or scale or format of an, a video file or a music file or a photo file on the fly and then click apply and therefore files could be changed live over the network to be better suited to the client device. But again, most transcoding is largely conducted with streaming in a far more um, app uh, centralized way rather than via UPnP. For those of you that want to stream photo media information or indeed music or video, as we'll cover in a future video, um, to uh, home consoles, uh, brainless server devices, or if you've got uh, bog standard set top media boxes or even Fire Stick, there are other, let's get that up there, there are supported applications that you can use for your Fire Stick, such as VLC and UPMP Manager from DG, and finally Kodi to be installed on a Fire Stick that will pick up these servers easily to allow you to stream media from them. But for now, let's move on to the main photo application if you want to enjoy photography on your Asus Store NAS, and that is the application in the App Center known as, if we go into the categories, go into Multimedia, and the photo application, Photo Gallery 3. It allows you to take advantage of timelines, smart thumbnail management, and ultimately create giant albums of your own private information or uh, your own private photo information, as well as create shareable albums on the fly. It doesn't support AI-assisted uh, recognition, such as some media platforms, but no doubt this is something Acer Store will integrate gradually, as all the NAS brands have. Once you've installed it, go ahead and open the tool from your desktop. It will open in a new tab, and the first time you open it, it will ask you, as you can see, as no albums have been added, to either add files locally from your desktop PC, or you can go ahead and add a source from your NAS, which is what I'm going to do now. As mentioned, if you create a photo album, put a tick next to that album, or in my case, I've added photos to the media album, and then click OK. As soon as it's done that, it will add it as an available source, and it will also choose whether you want to view these photos in normal quality or original quality in the web browser or when they're being streamed. If you go in the highest quality and you've got particularly dense files, that may make a difference to how quickly they are displayed. So it's recommended to keep it normal unless you need specific files. You can even upload music to play in the background of your Acer Store NAS while looking at galleries in the slideshow mode. But for now, let's head back into the photos as it starts to scrape the, through my collections of photos and start building thumbnails and collections and albums. If you want, while it does that, 
I can head into the folders tab and in there you can then crawl through the album manually via a more breadcrumb based design there as it slowly but surely scrapes the contents of that album. Now the amount of time this is going to take is heavily dependent on whether you're able to um, have a more powerful NAS. More powerful NASs such as the Locker Store series and other Intel based NASs will be able to do this job much quicker. This video today we're conducting on a Drive Store series NAS which is slightly less powerful. Ergo, it will take a little bit longer for that the metadata to be put together and for the content of this album to be fully displayed as thumbnails are created and information on individual photos is put together. As you can see, GIFs are supported as well, which means that if you do have animated GIFs, they will be displayed. If some photos have a lot of background information, it will be displayed here on the right hand side as metadata that's linked in the background of files is available there. On top of that, you can download the file locally or share the file if you choose with either another NAS user or create a remote access link which can have its own date of expiry or even a password attached to it. It's that straightforward. Click next. And it will create the link that you can choose to either let people access via the wire the internet or the LAN. Again, clicking OK or clicking the mail tab if you've linked a mail account with your ATA store NAS will allow you to send the link a lot quickly, a lot more quickly, or just click copy and allow you to create a copy link on your browser that will allow people to view the photo nice and easily. But if you've not enabled internet level connected services like so, they won't be able to access it. Otherwise, if you select a LAN based connection and then click OK, that link will now be accessible in the main user interface here on shared links, which appears. That shared link will now allow that link to be edited if you choose to later on, or you can change what it's supported by and what it can do. Again, lots of this can be edited very quickly on the fly. And as you can see, if you swap from an internet connected link to a network connected link where you don't need to worry about setting it up, this is what the end user will see. Whatever photos are inside that album, all available to be shared with friends, family, clients alike. And again, while we're doing all of this in the background, those photos are slowly being indexed with each of those photos appearing in a timeline on the right hand side of the screen, as well as the ability to create a um, search to refine those results as you see fit. On top of that, if we look at some photos, again, some of them that have more information based on where a photo was taken, as well as further metadata on the quality of the camera that took it and the ability to add tags will also present itself. And again, we can either share that photo or create a slideshow presentation which will play on screen where we can add music and more. And again, this can be done via the network or the internet as well as picked up on DLNA. Depending on the complexity of the album and the number of photos, the amount of time it takes for the photos to be added to the collection will differ. Although it does normally take around a few hours to process maybe 10 to 50,000 photos depending on their complexity and the weight. Otherwise, in the background, other areas such as smart albums that you want to create will be added. If we create a smart album, we can go ahead and select a bunch of photos like so. So we can go and select all the photos from this particular date if we choose. Then click create album or rename it there at the top. And now it will create a smart album based on what we've done and it will pull the metadata there in the background which will then allow us to search on an album level rather than an individual level when we want to look at metadata with all the same share and slideshow attributes all readily available at the click of a button and again the whole slideshow can be configured easily on the fly it just takes a little while for the system to scrape the data and the thumbnails on those photos which takes a little extra time and that's really it for photography on this NAS. Remember that you can access all of these tools and applications readily from a supported DLNA media server, as well as taking advantage of a number of the apps. 
And talking of apps, it's worth remembering that there is an Android app for AI Photo along with other applications and services to enjoy the photos on your NAS natively on your Android device, lovely and readily, as well as desktop client tools and more that can be installed, some to do with photos and other services supported too. If you want to change the settings at any time, you can go ahead into the top right link and it will allow you to change them. But that's really it. This has been how to set up a photo server and enjoy the photography on your NAS from Acer Store on ADM. Remember that while you're doing this, the amount of time it takes for all of these photos to be scraped will change depending on the complexity of your server. The amount of work being done in the background can be monitored on the activity monitor of your NAS by going into the processes. Alternatively, you have an option here that will show you what's happening, although these generally apply to the movement of data in the background of your NAS. Just give the system a little extra time and in future you won't have to wait for these thumbnails to be generated as they will be ready and available as their background metadata and thumbnails have already been scraped and created in the background. And remember at any time that you can add photos directly from your NAS at any time, either on bulk or on a folder level. This has been Photography on the Acer Store NAS. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comments. Click the bell and uh, subscribe button to be notified of the next video in our series where we will look at music on the Acer Store NAS platform. And of course, take advantage of the free advice section over on NAS Compares linked in the description. Completely free, manned by two humans who won't do anything with your email and just give free unbiased advice on data storage and networking. Thank you and I'll see you on the next part in this tutorial series.